spring semester starts at many colleges today, and we're going to be live at CSN on Charleston with a look at some of the medical programs there. This is 8 News Now. Good morning. I have to thank you. The healthcare industry is one of the fastest growing job markets in the country and at the College of Southern Nevada, they're expanding their medical programs to prepare students for a future in that field. 30,000 students expected back today for the spring semester. We have Nia Wong joining us live with a look at where some of them will be heading. Hi, Nia. Hi, Karis and John. Yeah, we are at CSN's Vet Tech office right now, and uh, joining me is Dr. Olson and uh, Ruby over here. So tell us about Ruby before we get into the program. Ruby is a ball python. She's about 20 years old, and uh, she was donated to us quite a while ago so that our students could get some experience with reptiles as well as some of the, the more standard animals. So with your vet tech program, um, students are kind of introduced to all kinds of fields, right? Yes. Yeah, our primary goal here is to get the students comfortable with most of the, diff the typical animals, dogs, cats, horses, cows, but then we give them a chance to see snakes and macaws or birds. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Lulu over there, right? Yeah, Lulu, she's, she's a teenager. She's acting like one right now. <laughs> She's, she's being very good for us right now. That's yes, good. Right now. That's good. And so students are introduced to all kinds of areas. Um, and so uh, tell us about what exactly they're going to be using to prepare themselves for this field. Well, here at the, at the college, we have equipment for all sorts of different areas that veterinary technicians or veterinary nurses are responsible for. They do veterinary uh, radiology, uh, diagnostic imaging. We have a CT scanner. They do surgical assisting. I'm a surgeon, so as I go out and do surgeries, they come and assist me. Um, they also do surgeries here at the college. We have a surgery suite so that if somebody comes here, we can actually do the procedure. And then they can come and watch. They can assist. We have dentistry. That they can learn how to do dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. Everything that uh, a veterinary nurse is supposed to do, we try to teach them here so that when they get out in this, the real world, they've already got some experience. And even before they get into the real world, you do introduce them to some real world experiences. You, you guys do a lot of community service. Oh, absolutely. As an example, about oh, three months ago in November, we were uh, asked to go to the town of Beatty and put on a veterinary clinic because they have no veterinary services there. So we took two van loads of students up there. We set up a clinic in their community center. And for the entire day, we went around and, and people brought their animals to us for checkups and for vaccinations, things like that. Uh, we work with the nonprofit organizations, the Humane Societies, Heaven Can Wait Animal uh, Sanctuary. Uh, they help our students get a lot of experience so that when they get out, and they talk to a, a potential employer, they've already done some of the things that they're going to be asked to do in the real world. All right, for some kids who are interested in getting into this field, what kind of advice can you share with them? Well, the first thing is to do well in school. They need to make sure that they have their math and their science uh, basics taken care of. After that, then, they need to really have an idea of medicine. Medicine is a, is a primary thing. They must have a, an, a love for it, if you will. But once they've got that, then the animals kind of can fit in there because it's all basically one medicine. People, animals, there's not that much difference. Some people are like animals. I'm sure with all these animals, like, it's just always exciting for you. Like, um, like we've got Ruby here, we've got Lulu there, and I'm sure you guys are going to be dealing with the many more animals throughout the year. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The students bring their own dogs and cats in so that they can learn on their dogs and cats. Uh, it gives them a lot of experience. All right, Dr. Olson, thank you so much for sharing your insight and uh, Ruby and Lulu as well. Uh, we are going to be hanging out in another part of CSN, and we'll bring that to you in the next half hour. Kirsten and John. Thank you.